As a Viking in Valheim, we know you're going to be out there exploring, killing bad guys, getting the loot and bringing it home. But you need to make sure that home is comfortable because it's going to give you an almighty boost. Let me talk about comfort today and show you how to get max. So there are actually two different types of resting buff or comfort buff. You've got resting and then rested. Each piece of furniture and the way that you set up your base can contribute to the effect lasting longer. Both will give you significant boosts to your health, your stamina regen and ether. The resting bonus applies when you sit down next to a fire or under shelter. This will increase your health regen by 200%, your stamina regen by 300% and ether by 300% also. This will only last while you're next to a fire or under shelter. This can be interrupted by an enemy spotting you. The next buff is the rested buff that appears after 20 seconds of resting. This will give you increases as well, but these will last much longer. You can see as soon as you sit up, you've lost your resting bonus. The rested bonus, signified by the red mark, is going to give you 50% health regen, 100% stamina regen, XP gain of 50% and the ether regen of 100%. So for quicker progression, it's vital that you get a rest and you make sure your home is as comfortable as possible because each decorative piece that you add now will increase the length of time you have that buff. If you ever die and you're going to go and get back your loot, make sure you get the resting and then the rested buff beforehand. As soon as you leave the area, the countdown will begin and you've got 8 minutes now of that extra regen. If you're wet or on fire, it doesn't actually apply, so make sure you dry yourself off before you leave. Top tips, as soon as you enter a burial chamber or any of the crypts in the swamp, put a campfire down within it and that's going to give you that rested buff while you go and explore or quick and easy to run back to and gain again. You can also litter a boss area with a bunch of campfires and hopefully that will give you an extra bonus while fighting. So how do you actually increase what items do what? Here we go. So putting a roof, uh, basically being in shelter, is going to increase the level to level 3. So each comfort level that you gain adds an extra minute to the length of time it lasts. You need to be within around 10 meters of the campfire or the cozy items. Your best bet is to build a base no bigger than maybe 4 or 5 wide, so having a quite narrow log cabin is good, or at the very least having a room or a section that has all the pieces close to each other. Or just be prepared to run around a little bit around your massive viking hall if that's something you've built. There are limitations on how you can increase and boost it. Putting decorations like rugs, chairs and more will all increase the length of time that you get, but it doesn't stack. Certain items are classed as the same category. So it doesn't matter how many of these rugs you put down, you're not going to increase it to beyond four. So apart from just cosmetics, if you're really trying to be functional, you only need one rug down in your base. All under the same category is tables, so you just need to have one table down and that will also increase your level. A regular table and a black marble table will only increase it by one, but the round table and the big massive long heavy table, that increases the comfort by two, but again, all four of these items do not stack, so you can only have one of them. We're now up to comfort level six and that means 13 minutes. Banners and curtains also increase your comfort level, but again, you can only have one of these, you don't need to plaster your base with different ones. They'll increase it by one. Bonfires, campfire, the hanging brazier, the standing brazier and the hearth all contribute. The hearth is the best one though, as it gives two with the rest only giving one. Particularly good for outside buildings. Maybe you've got an armory, maybe you've just got a whole village, but you want to make sure you've got comfort levels as much as possible in all of them. You don't need to build chimneys and have campfires in them all. You can go ahead and just place a brazier. So the best thing to have though, like I said, is the hearth. This increases it by two. So this will bring up the comfort level up to level 8, but you do need to make sure that these fires are all lit. So that's 15 minutes of that bonus. The next category is benches and chairs. It doesn't matter if it's a stool or some of the larger benches, they will all give you one. The two single chairs are going to give you two bonus and the thrones are all going to give you three. But again, you can't combine any of these. You always go with the maximum. So make sure you've got a stool or a bench, as soon as you're able to upgrade to a chair and then as soon as you're able to upgrade to a throne. So with a throne placed, your comfort level is going to be 11 and that's 18 minutes. There are two beds, the original bed will give you just one but the dragon bed will give you two. So now we're up to level 13 and 20 minutes. The hot tub will give you a comfort level of two but again it does need to be heated at all times. And adding a armor stand will bring it up to level 16 and that's 23 minutes. 
Now this is usually the max, apart from a couple of occasions where there are seasonal events. You can increase it to level 17 by placing a maypole, which are rarely found in some of the glades during springtime, and you can place a tree during Christmas time, the Yule Tree, and that will increase it to level 18, giving you a maximum of 25 minutes. So don't dismiss seasonal event items, they can actually really help you in the game. Sadly, none of the recent items from the Mistlands update increased or maximised any of the comforts, but maybe in the future we'll get more to really give this more of a bonus or maybe more interesting buffs in the future. But there we go, comfort and rest and bonuses explained. Leave a like if you found it useful, go and check out both my channels for more Valheim guides, gameplay and news, and I'll see you at bags later.